Kerry Springer has passed away overnight, folks. The former news anchor and politician who made his name through his show, The Jerry Springer Show, was aged 79. At its peak, his show was a rating powerhouse, showcasing dysfunctional relationships and the drama that came with them. Mr Springer leaves behind a TV legacy, made even more famous by the iconic chant from his shows. Born in the London Underground Station of Highgate, Mr Springer's family moved to the United States when he was four years old. Prior to his on-screen career, Springer served as the 56th Mayor of Cincinnati. Jerry Springer will be remembered as a TV titan, who after the brawls, obscenities and blurred images of nudity, would always share that final thought. Never assume that because the ex is out of the house, that the ex is out of the picture. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. You know, the more I think about it, the premise of the show is faulty. You see, it's impossible for someone to take away the lover of a friend, because one who does obviously never was a friend. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. You see, it's hard to face, but the fact is, nobody gets stolen away from you who doesn't want to be. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Joining us live now, Michael Brandon, who played Jerry Springer in a stage production. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Uh, just start with your reaction to the news. It was sad. It was shocking. I was driving along with my son. I got a call, said that Jerry, where Jerry was gone. And we both knew him. When Jerry used to come into town, he used to call and say, let's have breakfast and bring your son. <laughs> you know, he was a really nice man he was a good friend and he was wonderful to be able to play and get his blessing to play him what how how did you play him what what, what were the nuances that that you that you had to to imitate to create well it wasn't a great leap because uh the backgrounds were kind of similar jerry grew up once he got to the united states in kew gardens queens that's where I grew up. So between six and nine is where you form your uh, vocal patterns. So when I was thinking he was from Chicago or Cincinnati and doing different things like that, then I found that out and I realized we speak the same. You know, so that was the way it was. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's his you know? legacy? What's his legacy, Michael? I mean, we, we just uh, set it up in the introduction there. He's done so much. I mean, he's had a colourful career politician he's been in the news he's he's had his own talk show he's led to his own stage show i mean he's he's had a full life what's his legacy well i think that he was also a great father and i think uh he he, he cherished his daughter um he was a, like a family guy mm. um he wasn't like you would cast a politician in a sense um when he did his show he spoke from his heart. He, he asked sincere questions. He was concerned about these people, and he was shocked when some of the things w became revealed. It wasn't later on where they, you know, tried to torture out, you know, <laughs> confessions and stuff like that. Everything came after him. He was the mold. Mm. And, and, and you, I mean, you got to play him, so you know him well. Is there a story, you know, if you reflect on his life, and your dealings with him, is there a story that will always come to mind that will, that will give you a smile? Well, he did me a big favour. Um, I did a one-man show, and I did it on the Queen Mary 2 from Brooklyn to Southampton in England. And I, I was struggling for the end. I couldn't find the right end to the show. And then I had one of those, you know, three in the morning inspirations. I called Jerry and he said, you tell me what you want me to say. And I said, I, I want to try and get that final moment, you know. So I sent him a script. He was taping a show on the East Coast, either New York or Connecticut. And he put it into the, uh, you know, the, the word uh, prompter. Yeah. The dialogue of the scene, recorded it, and sent it to me. And then I played it and interacted with it, and 
it was, uh, it, you couldn't have a better ending. He said, so Michael, what have you learned? And we, we, we talked, we had this conversation and he, he, he just, he just gave that to me. Yeah. It was just a, a generous gift. And then you know, there, he was, um, yeah. And then, and then the line, you know, take care of yourselves and each other. It's a, it's a famous phrase that, uh, that, that we know. Take care of yourself and each other. Yeah. Yes. That was, that was his ending for every show. All right. Martin. And um, we did the same thing. Yeah. And that night, the opening night, when Jerry came and we rode up on this lift that came up center stage behind everybody dancing at the finale and everybody standing and applauding, Jerry and I back to back. And we stood there and it was a great moment. <laughs> it, was, it was wonderful. Well, Michael, yeah, uh, appreciate sorry. appreciate you sharing your thoughts with us today. Um, thank you so much for your time. Uh, that's Michael yeah, Brandon there. He was a beautiful man, and I'm honoured that you know people want to hear my experience of him. All right, Michael, thanks again for so, your time. Michael Brandon, who played Jerry Springer in a stage production there, sharing his thoughts on, on working with the now late Jerry Springer.